Welcome to United Way of Lebanon County's 2014 campaign. When it comes to United Way, you've probably seen the logo and heard the name. But do you really know the impact that United Way has on your community? In the next few minutes, we'd like to show you firsthand how United Way is helping neighbors, families, and friends during times of need. You might just be surprised by the results you see and how lives have changed for the better. United Way provides funding to 39 local agencies and programs in Lebanon County who offer services in four focus areas we like to call our building blocks, health, education, financial stability, and basic needs. B is for basic needs. Every person deserves access to basic human needs, food and water, shelter, clothing, and a place to sleep. United Way supports multiple local agencies that provide these services in times of crisis, including shelters, emergency cash assistance, clothing and food banks, and free daily meal sites. E is for education. United Way understands that education is a crucial part of a person's development and aims to make sure that individuals who desire to learn, grow, and better themselves have access to educational services offered in Lebanon County. These are the stories of real people living in Lebanon County whose lives have been changed for the better through the United Way and the funding it provides to its 39 partner agencies and programs, all of which exist to help individuals, families, and children in need. Let's take a look at how United Way dollars are changing lives for the better in your community. Trevor is a happy three-year-old who received early intervention services as an infant at Developmental and Disability Services of Lebanon Valley, a United Way funded agency. This is Trevor's story. DDS um, instructors really showed us a lot of different techniques that we can use um, and they really have the, the know-how when it comes to kids with disabilities and everything like that. Before any of this I didn't know anything. And yeah, Tanya was really good with him. Yeah, Miss Tanya's really great and all the other instructors, they really show us different ways and techniques to keep Trevor from getting frustrated during playtime, how to keep him focused on things and without all of that um, I don't think he would have developed as quickly as he has. It's nice to have someone kind of teaching you like not how to raise your kid but like different skills they need because we're first-time parents too. Honestly I just think of him as any other kid. Whatever he wants to do he's gonna do as best of his ability as he can. I mean I don't think there's limits for him. The kids with disabilities they need that early er, early intervention literally. Like it's good to start from birth basically because if he didn't have any services I don't I don't think he would know everything he knows right now. And he's just very uh, social yeah. and you know that's hopeful knowing that he can interact with people and he sees somebody he wants to say hi and then he wants to say bye. And yeah but he still has his moments. He likes to interact with his toys just as he would interact with people. people. He gives his, his little Beanie Babies hugs and kisses and he'll take his Beanie Baby to you for you to give him a hug and a kiss. Trevor really helps us appreciate what we have and what's important to us. As long as he's happy, we're happy and yeah. we're always going to support him no matter how old he is or whatever happens, we're always going to be there for him. I think DDS has opened him up a little bit in the social world when it comes to meeting new people and opening up to his teachers and, and how to share and play together with other kids and stuff like that. So, United Way has always been there to give us the financial support we need to provide the services for p individuals with disabilities. And over the years, um, as the community needs change, we've changed and adapted our services. And the United Way has always been there and has always been supportive of us. Um, to, in providing us the financial support so that we can serve the community, specifically for people with disabilities. 
So we will work with um, infants all the way our oldest client is 75. We are there throughout their lifetime to give them support. Uh, we give them a leg up. We don't <clears throat> necessarily give them a handout. We're, we're helping provide education and training services. Whether you're giving one dollar or two dollars out of your paycheck, even five or ten, it doesn't matter. Every little bit helps because so many people um, can be supporting the United Way and I think if everyone just does their part and does that little bit, I think it would make a huge impact on the community, not only on DDS but all the other um, agencies that receive your support. And I think all of us could give that little bit really. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I would ask that people make a pledge to do that. F is for financial stability. Finances are a cause of stress for many people, especially low-income individuals and families. United Way funds local agencies that provide financial assistance in the forms of legal services, finance education, job placement, and child care services. H is for health. United Way aims to help everyone in Lebanon County have access to the physical and mental health care they need to feel safe, healthy, and happy. We support agencies that provide services for the mentally and physically disabled, domestic violence and sexual assault centers, and dental and medical health services. Dan Reese struggled with schizophrenia for years. Thanks to the Halcyon Activity Center, a United Way funded agency which provides community support for those coping with mental illness, Dan got a second chance. Here is his story. Well, I was abused in every way, shape, or form as a young child. Started hearing voices at age 12. Uh, from there, I got in drugs pretty heavy. And as an adult, I finally started telling people that I was hearing voices. I was psychiatrically hospitalized 42 different times. But thanks to uh, some of the staff here, uh, they taught me coping skills, they taught me life skills, uh, and just taught me everything I needed to know to get better. Yeah, Halcyon is very unique actually. We are the only place that offers these services in the county. Our, our main role is just to get people out in the community again, um, to get people to have some self-confidence and their own independent skill building. Uh, just a safe place to come. It's just a safe place where people can be themselves here at Halcyon. And I don't think I'd ever be where I'm at today without House, yeah. And I was accepted here because, you know, all the other members were just like me, people with mental health problems, which made me feel right at home. The staff here uh, never looked down at you. And United Way is extremely helpful in that aspect because there is no services for adults with intellectual disabilities like that in the county right now. So we are the only ones providing that. So if it wouldn't be for United Way, we would not be able to provide that service for a lot of our individuals who don't have funding elsewhere to do that. I want others to know what United Way has done for me. And like I said, without United Way and Halcyon, I would not be where I'm at today. Because of United Way supplying money to Halcyon, especially for me, but other agencies, they're giving people so-called second chance in life, you know? You can help today to give our friends and neighbors a hand up, not a handout. You can lead the way to a better tomorrow. This is our call to action, to set an example, to be the change to do your part. All generations in Lebanon County, young and old, working together to make our community stronger and healthier. That's what it truly means to live united. Please make your pledge today.